Well, here we are now, a global favorite, a B20 VTEC, but on a more serious race spec build that will have a forged piston super tech, GSR head and Skunk 2 Pro 3 cam, a port and Skunk 2 intake manifold and many more. We will talk about the proper piston specs and detailed measurements and also compute with you guys the compression ratio and talk about why we went for the certain limit or compression for the gasoline that we will use so you know you're gonna like this one and we actually got an amazing surprise to you guys at the end Alright now, here you can see the GSR head, the Pro 3 cams, the Supertech pistons, Supertech valve train, Ferreira valves, and the ported intake manifold, the Skunk 2. So now let's look further into it. Alright, so we're gonna open it. And here, we're gonna show you the spec sheet, which I know most of the time people just ignore it or don't pay attention to it and we have to show you a lot of important things as you can see here it's 84 millimeter bore or 3.307 inches and then 30 millimeter compression height or 1.181 and of course 6.5 cc dome the thing here is if it's measured in inches let's say it's 1.1 then we know the millimeter is there's a few decimals but if it's measured in millimeter there's always a few decimal points on the inches it's just like when they talk about a four inch bore piston you know that's 101.16 millimeter you know but if it's like an 84 mm bore like this it's 3.307 so that got me thinking 1.181 compression height is actually 29.99 millimeter so we're gonna be accurate and we'll talk about that but okay let's unbox the pistons first and show you guys here look it's nice and it's not really a pointy dome and those who want pointed dome is not really good because it divides the combustion so it never runs efficient so the flatter dome the better you know so that's why we run this kind and not too much and even the underside you can see it's strutted well therefore it makes this a light piston not as heavy as the other brands this is why we like this now remember the piston spec sheet right now let's go with this this is our surprise for you we're gonna calculate the compression with you guys all right so let's choose the b20 block all right there and then we choose the you can see the bore is 84 we choose the b18c crank right so it's 87.2 and then the gsr head the 18 c1 they're a smaller chamber and then we go to the pistons let's choose other and remember it's 6.5 cc dome and then if you remember it's 29.99 millimeter <clears throat> so let's be accurate you know so everything is precise all right and then we choose an itr rods all right and then we calculate the compression look so it's 12.87 is to one compression and you can see here you can see the gasket is 0 0.026 right and you add 0 0.014 below deck that becomes 0 0.040 quench quench distance so that's kind of perfect you know but we're gonna run this with a 0 0.010 shave or one fourth of a millimeter just to make it you know smooth so that's there 13.3 is to one compression and of course with the Ferreira valves it adds about 0.2 of a compression so this becomes 13.5 is to 1 compression and you know 
it's kind of perfect for a Petron Blaze pump gas, gasoline, not E85, because we have seen the limits and that kind of works really good. So, yep, hope you enjoyed this one. So now we're going to talk about more details and you can see here, you can check the sock and we can do that when we have, when we're building a single overhead cam. So we'll get, we'll let you guys know. And because we know the specs of the PH12 pistons. All right, to further reiterate on the setup, these pistons are 35 to almost 40% lighter than the cast pistons. So, you know, that's almost close to half, right? And since we're running an ITR crank, this is a lot better for higher RPMs. And, you know, we talk about ARP rod balls and the B20. This ITR rods are way, way stronger. And if you remember this, look. ECU Later's B20 EF runs stock B20 rods and just ARP rod bolts, you know, and he actually runs 12.5 pump gas streetcar. And the thing here is that with the ITR rods, it may rev faster and higher, so it might really do a lot better. And this build, it even has a bigger cam, which is Pro 3, because Jasper or ECU later just runs Skunk 2 Tuner 2, right? So imagine that. And to show you how tough the rods are, here is his setup. And I, he actually shifts at 9,700 RPM. This is to run good time, even though you're shifting slow to save the transmission. And you know, this is a simple setup from Jasper that we built for ECU later, actually. As you can see, the simple setup, you guys should hit him up and offer to buy his engine because we'll tell you why. And you know, he might just say yes to you guys for a good price. Of course, that's for our locals, because shipping internationally would be a pain. Now on to the GSR head. But first, let me show you this. And here is a B20 OEM rods, and you can see, and now we compare it to look at the ITR. And visually, you can see it's a lot beefier, you know, and here a comparison. It's not just burritos that we want beefy, right? We have even won the rods. Okay, never mind that. Now let's, this time it's for real. Let's go to the GSR head. All right, here we are now. We've actually ported this, but we saved the finishing touches this just to show you guys all right so now we speed it up we're actually doing an 80 grit on the intake and 120 on the exhaust so we're, we're doing the finishing pass just to get the transition and the shape really really good the thing here is we we don't need to go a lot bigger because we're still going after good torque and a little later we'll talk about the manifold because it's still opened up and it's actually ported to and we'll explain to you the reasons for what we do and why we do what we do you know all right okay now on to the floor now we're gonna do this and then we speed it up once again and of course after this we're gonna show you really really good close-up pictures of the intake ports who will show you how the transitions changed or improved and at least it gives you an idea of what we go for for good airspeed right okay now let's go on to the workbench oh look at this it looks really really good and we're gonna go closer and you'll see we will talk about the shapes and the what we did you know you can see the transition from the bowl well from the sidewall to the bowl has been consistent and gradual here you can see from the divider too and you can imagine you can actually see the port floor right it's actually shaped really well this is to maintain airspeed you know because if you need more volume well we're, we're actually running pro 3 cams so this is gonna work really good right all right now let's head on to finishing up the exhaust ports. All right, now for a change, we start with the floor. All right, okay, now let's speed it up. And the thing here, the interesting part is that the more power you make or the more RPMs you try to pull, the more crucial or the more critical the exhaust ports become because, you know, 
the exhaust they they have a continuous speed so when the rpms go up but you don't improve the exhaust port or the efficiency that's just like building a race engine but you're running a stock muffler it's gonna get clogged or restricted to keep going up in the rpm you know so that's hard right and now we're gonna watch this a bit and then show you on the workbench all right let's go now would you look at that oh it's clean looks really good now let's look closer as you see as i said earlier right it has to be that efficient or that well shaped this way it won't be restrictive as the rpms go up and therefore you'll just keep making more power right and it's interesting because as everyone noticed we always see people concentrate on porting the intake not the exhaust and look let me show you this for reference on all our work. Here is a B16 PR3 head that we did earlier. As you can see, we tried to get the shape of the exhaust really good so that the efficiency is really high. And recently, as you guys remember, this is the VTI P2J head. And this is the carbide finish. And look, once we get it shaped well, we're gonna smooth it out and you can see in this pictures here it's really efficiently shaped or shaped efficiently like the goal is just to maintain good exhaust speed you know so that the rpms are good and if this video is really good for you guys you know subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button you know and hit the bell so that you guys get all the notifications whenever we put up a new content and likes means more activity to the video so it gets spread out so now let's get to the interesting part all right now because this race setup is running a pro 3 cams we concentrated on porting the intake manifold to get good taper for maximum airspeed because as you run bigger cams the signal on the intake gets weaker as the duration goes up you know by signal i mean the intake pulse or suction it gets to pull air so the longer duration the weaker it gets on the aftermath you know so picture blowing air you can blow air as hard as you can for five seconds right now let's extend the duration into 10 seconds you know the first five seconds you can blow hard but subsequently you're gonna start popping your veins or aneurysm right and that is why on the dyno, some engines, you see that they got to advance the cam gear or the intake until there's piston to valve issues because the engine wants to start the signal or the action earlier because there's such delay on signal and it helps even on the intake and exhaust if it's ported really well. You know you like this kind of information huh the thing is for all the people or the people that's wondering if we're sharing all our secrets you have to understand everything that we share is just 20 percent of what we know and 80 percent is more like proprietary so that's our secret that we go fast so you gotta practice awareness because all those secretive clowns, you know, maybe their biggest secret is not letting you know they know nothing. Okay, now going back to this, this is four and three runner, you know, on the edge near the cam gear. And then this is one and two, you know, and it's part match really well. Don't mind the dirt. And here's the video, you can see there's a bunch of dirt on the intake manifold because we haven't washed it, but we just wanted to show you how consistent the taper and the, the porting achieved for us, you know? And this is gonna work so good. Now, would you look at that? We thought we were talking about signal, huh? That's gonna be so, so good. And earlier we said we got a surprise. And the thing is, this engine is actually for a street car, you know. Although it's a race spec, it's still for a street car that's gonna run on pump gas Petron Blaze. Another interesting tidbit is that because we mentioned ECU later, earlier on, right? 
he has this same exact setup including the itr crank pistons and you know what's even better is that he has an ultra street mon manifold from skunk 2 so when you think about it this engine can easily make 245 to 250 wheel horsepower on pump gas gasoline you know so imagine if ECU later makes 225 wheel horsepower and runs 12.5, would we see an 11 second streetcar? Hmm, we'll see. On ECU later's camshaft, he's also planning Pro 3, but he's still talking to Ade for a better option. Sorry, Ade is the owner of TB Motorworks. He's also the operator and the builder. So you gotta like this video so it gets promoted to a wider audience and subscribe if you haven't because we're gonna have more good stuff.